thanks for watching this video uh let's deep dive into introduction to service cloud voice so the phone system within a crm or sales path ecosystem has been evolved over a period of time initially it started with desktop cti and the heavy breakthrough happened with open cti where pretty much every single provider within the telephony ecosystem who wants to integrate with salesforce has integrated and you'd be able to see their package within app exchange uh, so Salesforce provides the infrastructure for a telephony provider to integrate. So all these packages are maintained by the telephony provider itself. And since we are looking into Amazon Connect as a primary uh, telephony provider throughout this course, we'll concentrate more on service cloud voice with respect to uh, Amazon. But there are a number of telephony providers who are able to integrate with Salesforce today uh so for example here with open cti uh the telephony provider is aws connect but the salesforce part of integration is also done by them and that's where you'd be able to find them in the app exchange uh solution of salesforce uh the calls are still routed to salesforce but there is no like fully tracking of like uh records within salesforce and it is not actually fully integrated that's when later Salesforce was able to introduce a new platform way back in 2020 called the Service Cloud Voice, where the whole integration is managed by Salesforce, but the telephony provider is still Amazon Connect or any other third party providers. But Salesforce owns the integration with respect to Amazon Connect. But for other telephony providers like Nice Genesis, it is still owned by the telephony provider to integrate with Salesforce. And there is a native tracking here and the voice calls are routed within Salesforce. So it is like fully Salesforce integrated. Now later 2024 or recent 2025, uh, again, since OpenCTI was something AWS was able to develop, they kind of brought in a different solution. Instead of just routing with voice calls, you would be able to route chats, voice calls and other objects within Salesforce but the whole infrastructure of chat and voice is still owned by aws so you might have seen aws also offers chat capability but let's say since it's a different infrastructure but you still want to route it via salesforce and then like use salesforce infrastructure for routing that that's where scc which is salesforce contact center with amazon connect package comes into play uh, this kind of advanced version right now because it got introduced within like last three months so this is the newer evolution where you can still use AWS infrastructure, uh, but you can use Salesforce CRM for identifying the user or still routing it. But how CTI looks like, uh, I'll play the video, but I'll stop the audio here and then like I'll do whatever. You'd be logging into Amazon Connect first and then like logging into Salesforce where you'd be able to see a separate widget called a spoon where you'd be able to take inbound calls or when you do a click to dial, you'll be able to see an outbound call as well. So it's not a native integration. So which means you'll have to log into two different system and there were like a lot of issues uh, among like status sync and other things. But you can see uh, the demo that when you click on the phone number, it makes an outbound call directly. And then there's no voice call record or like tracking happens here rather than you'll have to manually create a task once the call is entered so this is how cti was where everything was like pretty manual in terms of like tracking and other things uh and similarly uh the demo shows that you'd be able to receive an inbound call and when you accept it you'll be connected with the customer and that's the native that's not a native integration rather than you'll have to log everything there's no transcription uh there's no screen pop up of uh, you can still do the screen pop up with cti uh but you can see how it looks like uh now let's look at how service cloud voice is there so this is where you'd be able to see that it is natively integrated with omni channel and then you don't have a separate phone tab you can still use the native omni channel so this is one bigger advantage that you don't have to like maintain two different systems it automatically locks you in and you'll be able to view the call directly here and then like you'd be 
see the native transcription. Uh, this is again managed by IWS infrastructure, but you'd be able to see the contact details. You'd be able to do the screen pop up. Uh, but beyond that, there are more capabilities with Service Cloud Voice. So to one flow between the conversation, you can see the real time transcription. Uh, and then if in case that you want to search for a knowledge article, you can do that. Uh, we'll look into it. But uh, that's how like uh, Service Cloud Voice works. And from a supervisor standpoint, Salesforce also offers a native only supervisor dashboard kind of thing where this is how it would look like the number of agents who have logged in but at the same time that if any user needs assistance they can trace the flag and based on that uh, a supervisor can jump into the call and then like help them as well now this is where the difference between service cloud voice and open cti is open cti offers a native screen pop-up and telephony controls that's how like you log into a separate phone channel that's the only common but uh for service cloud voice we have a new object called voice call record that gets created and then omni supervisor will be able to look into which calls that the agent is talking with and then like they can also see the transcription as well and there is a native ancient for service integration as well meaning that once the call is ended you can do a work summary meaning you'd be able to identify the issues summary and resolution based on gen ai capabilities and uh, the whole concept of how your records are stored in Salesforce is something called as conversation objects within Salesforce. Uh, that functionality was not there in CTI and it has been a huge development with each release when Service Cloud Voice, but there's no new releases happening in OpenCTI. Now, in one slider, if I have to like define Service Cloud Voice, this is where you would be able to see it's more focused towards agent productivity, and then like they have multiple productivity tools uh, from an agent perspective. From a supervisor perspective, they'd be able to see uh, the transcription uh, chime into the call and provide more assistance here. And you can go beyond with that with the ancient conversation insights where you'll have to track what are all the key trends of your contact center, uh, coachable moments and other things as well. Now, since we are deep diving into this, now if you have to compare between like Salesforce and AWS, this is something that I've understood over a period of time. This might not be like certainly 100% accurate for the comparison, but then like, if you are in Salesforce ecosystem and wanted to know about what are all the features within AWS, and if you are in AWS ecosystem and wanted to understand Salesforce uh, better, this might be helpful. So for writing any of the custom codes in Salesforce, we use Apex language to like write the code. Similar to that, you have something called as Lambda functions or like Lambdas within AWS. And your core debugging lies between something called as debug logs in Salesforce, where you'll have to manually enable it every time that you debug for a certain period of time. But that's where AWS stands out with CloudWatch logs where you enable it once and uh, it gets automatically logged in and then you'd be able to like track it or debug it further. Now, this is where like in Salesforce that if you have to try manage your code and then like IP or code, you have something called as manage package that gets installed into customer sort. So the same concept of like managed or unmanaged package is similar to cloud formation templates in AWS. So when we install something in AWS, for example, Salesforce will install the cloud formation template within your AWS account. Again, when comparing even based architecture based on like certain events, a record update or like record insert, you have something called as triggers in Salesforce, similar to that we have streams in AWS. And when you build something in Salesforce, you have like Salesforce flow, will deep dive into omni-channel flows. But similar to that, you when you develop the IVR journey, you have something called as contact flows. And in Salesforce, each and every record is tracked as a unique record called as record ID, which is an 18 or 15 digit ID. But in AWS, we call them as ARN, which is Amazon resource name. Uh, user permissions could be standard and custom profiles, which where the standard profile is more related to system admin, controlling everything within your org. In AWS, you have something called as root user, and you can still create like custom users with something called as IAM users. Now that we have compared 
between like Salesforce and AWS and then like we have seen what a CTI versus service cloud was. Uh, from a setup standpoint in setup within Salesforce, if you just type call center, you'd be able to see the CTI part of it. We won't look into this in this course, but then like just giving you the difference between how CTI versus SEV looks like. Uh, for SEV, you can just type in voice and you'd be able to see something called as Amazon contact center. And then you also, if in case based on the flavors that you're using, which will deep, uh, deep dive into in the later part of the course, you'll also be able to see something called as partner contact centers. Uh, you will know what is the difference between over a period of time, but you can just type in contact centers and that's how like you would be able to see the visual difference between it. Hopefully this helps you understand a little better about like how the evolution happened and what is the difference between CTI versus Service Cloud Voice from a setup perspective and then like what it offers. But over a period of time, when you set it up in your demo or you'd be able to like understand it much better and you'll get better over a period of time. But hopefully this helps in terms of like introduction. Thank you.